So let's take a look at grep. Grep is a command line function and it actually stands for global regular expression. Now what it does is it has the ability to take input so it could just be raw normal input or it could be a regular expression and it has the ability to take that and search a file or search the output of a command so it can be very useful to a developer or even like a, a DevOps engineer or someone like that. So uh, let's take a look to see exactly what it does. So if you do grep dash dash help and you'll see all these various options here. Um, ones to note, I think are quite useful, like n, um, what it does is prints the line number out um, with, that, with the results. So that can be really useful if you're searching a large file. Um, that's the one I kind of used. So let's take a look at um, what exactly we can do. So if we take a look at our directory, we have two files. One is access logs, one is a dummy file. So let's take a look at the dummy file. Right now, what we have is just three lines of text. You can see it says, this is some inf some random information. My name is Raval Gavanda and I'm a software engineer. So let's see how grep works. So you type in grep, then you would type the um, what you're searching for, and then you would type the file. So it pulls out the uh, results just like that. So my name is Raval Gamda. So notice it pulls out the entire line um, with regular expressions. You can change that. I'm not going to go into that now, but um, what I want to do is just show you the basic usages of grep. So what we can do as well is do dash n and type in Raval and dummy file text. So right at the beginning here, you'll notice that it's obviously showing number two uh, to represent line number two. Now, um, let's see how you can combine grep with uh, another function. So let's say ls as an example. You see what it does is it prints out uh, whatever's in the directory. So if you have a directory with a ton more directories in, maybe you just wanna see if it contains um, a certain file or a certain folder. What you can do is do ls, then pipe, grep, and then use grep as you normally would. So let's say we wanted to find dummy, you can do that and Yo, so it's filtered down the ls output to just dummy file.txt. You can even do stuff like I think you do php.exe-i, and what they'll do is obviously print out all the your ini file. But if you just want to search that, you can do uh, grep and type in memory limits. And there you go, it just brings back memory limit. So that can be really useful if you just quickly want to check. Um, something in your PHP INI file. Um, let's take a look at another example here. And what you can do is, let's take a look at this access logs. So if we cat the access, log, access logs, you can see it's a massive file with a whole bunch of uh, logs in it. So if we just wanted to find um, what happened at 5 p.m., what we can do is um, grip, and we can do, let's say, uh, one seven for five o'clock and do access logs so you can see it filters down those results and combining it with the uh, output command we can do grep 17 and um, what was it access logs we can just do that I think it's carrot and output.txt and now if we cat output.txt you can see we have a new file created just with the results of the grep function. So LL, you can see there's now three files here. Or LS, you can see there's three files. So we have output.txt. And um, we should be able to do grep. Um, let's just go bring back the command and do grep dash n output.txt. And we can cat output.txt. So now you can see we have line 28 at the beginning. Um, line 31, and so on and so on. So that's the grep command. Hopefully you find it useful. Thanks for watching.